Matt Foes, agronomist with 360 Yield Center. Just wanted to report in from the cab. Enjoying a beautiful day and evening out strip tilling ahead of this year's corn crop. Wanted to pass along kind of some thoughts that we've been seeing around nitrogen management coming into 2016, specifically around fall applications of ammonia and what we've been seeing transpire from a warm November and December and subsequently a, a relatively warm February and March going forward. So what we've seen so far is that despite using an inhibitor uh, in the fall, uh, the warm temperatures allowed a lot of conversion to happen over the course of the winter. In some cases, we get, we're sitting there with 100 to 120 or 140 pounds of nitrate in in that knife track, uh, as opposed to maybe 10 pounds of nitrate in uh, 15 inches away between the knife track. So one of the things that you can do uh, by soil testing with, with products such as 360 Soil Scan is find out how much has changed over to a susceptible form to leaching such as nitrate. So one of the things that we've noticed is, yes, we've got more nitrate in out there than we, we'd like to see at this point in time, but it hasn't moved. So we've still got most of it sitting there in the top foot of it, or a foot of soil, which is good. That means it's, it's sitting there on standby, ready for the plant. So what should we do about this? Knowing that we're, we're set up for potential leaching uh, this spring. Well, right now we shouldn't do a whole lot about it, to be honest. So I've had the question, should I add more into my wheat and feed application to make up for what I'm probably going to lose from my fall application? The answer is probably no. Because one thing that we don't know is the weather from here until the corn takes up most of its end in mid-June. So if it's a reasonably nice spring and we haven't had a whole lot of soaking rains or pounding rains, that end is probably still going to be right where it's at in the top foot and ready for the corn plant. If we get a lot of rain, we'll flush some through or denitrify up into the atmosphere. Either way, we'll lose some. We don't know how much of that's going to occur between now and corn uptake in mid-June. So it would be a wild guess right now to say you should put on 50 pounds more than you planned on. What I would recommend instead is wait as long as possible, make that decision as we get closer to corn uptake, whether that be with a side dress bar at V5 or with Y drop in taller corn. Wait as long as you can to make the most informed decision that you can test and see whether or not you've lost some of that nitrogen or whether it's still there on standby. Who knows, if drought 16 that everybody talks about happens, we may be just fine with the nitrogen we have. So with that, keep in mind, be patient, make decisions when you have the most information you can. And with that, be safe and we'll talk to you later.